The Palace Hotel of the 1930s lavished luxury on its visiting sheikhs and diplomats, things like phones, hot water, and elevators. Now a Waldorf Astoria, costing up to $5,000 a night, guests can expect even more: the finest Italian furnishings, a magnificent atrium with drop-down windows, stunning Czech chandeliers. How much do they cost? About uh, $200,000 uh, each for a light. For a very special light. My favourite feature, though, in this hotel has to be this: a TV embedded in your bathroom mirror. What more? Could someone want them being able to watch Bloomberg TV while you're having a shave? Sitting in the restaurant that was once a stable, General Manager Guy Kleiman says making this hotel a reality was even tougher than expected. The, the main challenge was to uh, restore the orig original facade from 1929 while we were digging 20 meters underground in order to add additional uh, meeting rooms and the biggest ballroom in the area. On top of that, the, the famous staircase of the rotunda from the Palace Hotel at the time, we had to build it exactly the same way as it was before. It took six years and 150 million dollars to restore and rebuild the hotel, which had become home to the trade ministry and a tax office. Well, the original plan was published in uh, 1981. Overcoming Israel's Byzantine planning laws, says this architect turned author, took even longer. I started dealing with this project 35 years ago, in 1979. So you know, I'm I'm very very happy with the result. The inside isn't it's the inside of a high class, uh, prestigious uh, business hotel. It, it's a, not a recreation hotel. It's a, it, it's not very large. It's on a very small site. It is in a very good uh, proximity to the old city, and uh, the interior is is very very lavish. Um, sort of similar, more or less, to the Waldorf Astoria in New York. It may not be to the taste of the original architect, but the Waldorf Astoria should at least last a lot longer than the original hotel. Elliot Gottkin, Bloomberg, Jerusalem.